I've been a father now for six years and I now have two small boys running around my house causing mayhem and havoc at every opportunity that they get. And I've been reflecting recently on the dynamic of being a father, particularly of boys. And I've really been thinking about the importance of children, not just boys, but in particular boys, having their father in their lives, closely involved in their lives, preferably in the home, but at the very least very closely involved even if the parents are separated. One of the things that has really become clear to me as a, as a father is that men give a vision of manhood. The father gives the up close and personal vision and image and pattern of manhood to the children. And this, this, isn't, this isn't just as far as like things that they say and about being a man and things that they say about masculinity, but it's just about how men are meant to carry themselves. Think about it, if you're, if you're new to life, you're a small baby, just come into the world. As you get older, one year old, two year old, you start to recognize, oh yeah, there's mommy and there's, there's daddy. Okay, cool. So mommy's are kind of like this, daddies are kind of like this. And then as you get start to get older, you become more aware of your own sex, the fact that you're a male or you're a female. And then you start to align yourself with either, you know, whatever your sex is, you align yourself with your father or your mother more so, you identify yourself more so with them. Both the mother and the father are showing you in their day-to-day -day lives, in your day-to-day -day lives, showing you, showing the child, this is what a woman is. This is what a woman kind of does. This is what a man is. This is what a man kind of does. And again, it's not to be reductive and say that men only do these few certain things. In fact, I think that's a problem. One of our big problems, I think, certainly in the black community is that we have too limited of a vision of what manhood is. It's far too focused on sex and sowing your oats and being aggressive and violent. Not nearly focused enough on being gentle, being tender, being kind, being warm, being nurturing, being patient, you know, all those kinds of things. You need the, whole, the, the full package and you, the best way for children to see and understand what a man can be and should be is to see it modeled in their own father. One of our issues as black people, certainly here in the UK, is that First of all, because the vast majority of children are growing up without their father living with them, they are not seeing manhood being expressed to them in the house. They are not seeing manhood, masculinity being modeled to them. They're not seeing it. And so where are they gonna go to see manhood? Where are they gonna go to learn about what manhood is? Music. They're gonna go to the streets. They're gonna go to films. They're gonna go to TV. And what they're gonna find there, particularly as black boys, what are, they, what are black boys gonna see when they turn on the radio and listen to the music? They're going to be listening to this drill music. They're going to be listening to, to this trap stuff. They're going to be listening to dance hall, like li listening to all this sort of stuff. And what are these guys talking about? Violence, hypersexuality, hatred towards other black boys, other black men. And then they're going to also see it. Unfortunately, a lot of our black boys, our black children are growing up in areas where everybody else doesn't have a dad around. And so they're going to, they're going to be kind of learning from each other. Okay, you know, they're going to egg each other on, learn about masculinity. And then unfortunately, you've got these older people, these older children and elders who are going to be stepping into the gap where the father should be as far as yeah, yeah, come and join, come and join our, come and be part of our crew. Come, you want to make some money? You want to generate some wealth? Come and join our crew. Those crews end up being gangs. They end up shot in. They end up doing, you know, doing violence in the street, robberies, trapping, shot in, all this sort of stuff. And that's because a big, a big reason for far too high a proportion of our young boys getting involved in gangs and knife crime and street crime and, and generally low vibrational living is because they've learned about manhood from the streets. They le they've learned about manhood from the media. They've learned about manhood from everywhere else except in their own home. So it's critically important in my opinion, it's critically important for children, particularly boys, but not only boys, girls as well. Both girls and boys need to be need to be seeing that model of masculinity in their home so that they can identify what's a good man. A good man should be something like what your dad is. That should be your motivation as a, as a father is I want, one of your motivations should be, I must be a, a, an image, a positive image, a wonderful image of masculinity to my children, you know, so that when the daughter grows up now, and they're now thinking about, okay, well, starting to think about boyfriends and partners and so forth. They need to have that model in their mind, deeply ingrained in their body about what a male is, what a good man is, so that they can swat away the waste men, so they can swat away these idiot boys who might otherwise be able to sweet talk them and bamboozle them with 
with trinkets as if they're prostitutes. And you know, I mean, oh look, I've got a nice car here, come and have some nice food. Da, 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 da. And they get bamboozled and, and, and hoodwinked by these idiot boys. That wouldn't happen to anywhere near as that the extent that it does happen now. And we also wouldn't end up with so many, unfortunately, of our young females having children with these idiot people if they had their fathers with them, growing up in their lives, showing them what a real man and what a good man is all about. And then the final thing I wanna say about the importance of having a man, the father in the house, living with your children, is that I think it's critically important that children see their father and their mother working together, collaborating. They need to see them having those conversations about everything, from small matters like doing the chores around the house, how are they organizing things? How is mummy and daddy working out? Who's gonna do the washing up? Who's gonna change the car tire? Who's gonna go and do the shopping? You know, who's gonna have the children on this day? Who's gonna, you know, they need to see us working together on those things. They also need to see parents working together on the big things. Children need to see, they need both their mother and their father around in the house, or at least working together closely. And they need to see us that we are aligned in our vision for the future, that we're aligned in our values and our principles. For example, one of the worst things that you can possibly do is allow your children to play you off against each other. You know, oh, they'll, they'll ask mummy something and mummy says no, then they'll go and ask daddy. And then daddy said, oh yeah, it's fine. You know, those are the little things that you have to like, you have to make sure that you're on the same page. And in a lot of the case, that's gonna mean you as mummy and daddy need to be talking all the time. This is why I think that I, I, it, it probably, it possibly is possible it probably probably is possible for a father and a mother to be separated but still be working very closely together but it's very difficult because it's it's not just that oh let's let's talk every you know every week and let's see them that i think it's on a day to day minute by minute hour by hour basis that children need to be seeing mummy and daddy collaborating and working together so that again it's the model it's the pattern for them to then be looking at when they get older and they're now thinking about starting to get partners and boyfriends and girlfriends and this sort of the other they need to be having this ingrained deeply in their psyche and have real clear expectations about what they should expect from a relationship and what they're looking for in a relationship so that again they won't waste their time with with waste people waste men always women so thank you for watching once again make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed like the video i really very much look forward to your thoughts and your experiences what about your experiences growing up what was your relationship like with your father what did you see in your father and how did that impact on your own life later on in life and if you're a parent as well or you're a potential parent i'd love to hear your thoughts about some of the concerns that you have and the, the issues that you're dealing with in this phase of life and maybe from some of these comments there might be some 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 material that we can use for a future video all right take good care as ever there are other videos you can watch on this channel there's one here youtube will recommend and there's one here which i will recommend all right take good care of yourself my name is ellie wananda and i'll see you next time